deck the bar with bottles of liquor. Fa la 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 la. Take a shot, it goes down quicker. Fa la 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 la. Mm. Tis the season to be drinking. Fa la 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 la. Love the sound of glasses clinking. Fa la 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 la, etc. Mistletoe is often considered a parasitic pest that kills trees and devalues natural habitats. But it's a plant that a lot of animals depend on for food, consuming the leaves and young shoots, transferring the pollen between plants and dispersing the sticky seeds. Now mistletoe is also associated with fertility and vitality. We're talking healthy hormones here, guys. <laughs> the ones you had when you were 19 years old. Remember those days? Yeah, I remember those days. Okay, around the world, the custom of kissing under the mistletoe dates back to the 18th century, when the serving class of Victorian England continued the tradition. So here it is, a man was allowed to kiss any woman standing underneath the mistletoe, and bad luck would befall any woman who refused the kiss. So ladies, if you find yourself in that awkward moment underneath the mistletoe this Christmas with, uh, let's say, uh, Uncle Bruce, <laughs> Make sure you pucker up, because if you don't kiss me, you could surely find yourself experiencing a string of bad luck. And if you believe in that sort of thing. I'm not overly superstitious, but why take a chance? And hey, I'm not such a bad guy once you get to know me. <laughs> the saving grace, though, is that with each kiss, yeah, there's more than one kiss involved here. A berry is to be plucked from the mistletoe and the kissing must stop after all the berries have been removed. Now that you know this little tidbit of mistletoe madness, good luck to you. And to make things a little easier for you this Christmas, it's probably a good idea to have a drink under your belt before you're spotted standing neath the mistletoe. So let's do that. Let's get you primed. Let's make a mistletoe martini. Yeah, it tastes good. We're making a mistletoe martini. So what I've done is I've got some nice hot water here and I've got some cranberry tea. About two cups there. I'm just gonna make some hot cranberry tea. Three bags. We're gonna, we want, we want something that's uh, pretty intense, okay? We're just gonna let that steep now and just bring it down to room temperature. Once it's cool, you just put it in the fridge. I like to leave it in overnight. Yeah, get it nice and chilled. Now we need to chill our glass, a nice little martini glass. Uh, I've got some ice here, a little water, and uh, just set that off to the side. Let's fill our shaker glass with ice. Two ounces of vodka. An ounce of Domaine de Canton, that's our ginger liqueur. Followed by an ounce and a half of cranberry, our cranberry tea that's been nicely chilled. Yeah, look at that color. Oh, look at that color. Fresh squeezed orange, not a lot. Good hearty wedge. Followed by fresh squeezed lemon. Look at that lemon juice, yum. A good wedge of lemon squeezed into the drink. Yeah, that just brings it all out. Agave syrup, I've got a half an ounce here. Perfect. Pop a lid on, give her a good shake. Wait. <laughs> I ain't gonna stick there so I can kiss the drink, baby. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Let's get rid of this ice. Let's get rid of the mistletoe. <laughs> All right, and we want to double strain it into our chilled martini glass because we don't want any of the uh, orange and lemon pulp. Get it clean, nice and clean. Look at that beauty. Oh my God, how sweet and lovely does that look? Okay, let's garnish it with a rosemary sprig 
a little lemon rind, and ha, pop in a cranberry. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, the cranberry floats. Oh, look at the color for starters and the aroma. I, I, get, the, I get the rosemary, I get the, the lemon rind going on. Oh, wonderful smell. Oh, baby. It tastes like icy fresh, like a, like a kiss from a stranger underneath the mistletoe. It's Christmas in a glass. Ha! <laughs> Make one, you're gonna love it. Oh, beauty, eh? <laughs> oh, mistletoe. Yeah, I got some right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know, if you want to give me a little Christmas present, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. That'd be great. <laughs> or check out the 12 Shots of Christmas or any of my other Christmas cocktails. Anyway, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a grand time. I need a glass of wine. <laughs>